all i share videos like the one you're watching i share simple recipes that we can always try when you don't have the ideal equipment or the ideal ingredients for the specific meal i share time and money saving tips here and there in, around the house and grocery hauls um price checking in nairobi stores so that means you won't lack something of interest so if i have mentioned anything that could be in your interest i kindly ask you to hit the red subscribe button let us go to the video oh is this how you sit is this how you are sitting right now hold on please stop sitting like this whenever you're sitting like this one you're making your you are working your muscles you are overworking your sp uh, spine you are likely to have shoulder neck and back pain you are likely to have injuries because your muscles are not working and the joints are not working the way they are supposed to be working you're supposed to lose balance and fall oftenly so if this is how you are sitting this is what you're going to do right now from this minute henceforth you are going to be sitting like this okay it's like you're assuming someone just tickled you over here and now this is how you're going to be sitting so if you're typing this is how you are going to be sitting your head should not be like this your head should not be like 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 this because now you swift the all the the muscles towards your lower back and you will have lower back pain so you're not going to do like this your shoulders are not supposed to be shrugged or what 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 am i supposed to say this okay i don't know the word i'm sorry so you are not supposed to be like this you are going to be like this chest out and you will be good because posture has a lot of issues so if you're sitting like this please right now like this so this is this will apply whether you're walking whether you are sitting down and mostly this is an habit when you're working when you are behind that computer you are typing you are likely to sit like this when you are having your lunch when you when you're talking to people when you're relaxing maybe you're sitting like this and what will happen over time is that your body could get aligned to being like this or being like this so one of the reason one of the things that will happen if you you make your body uh, get used to wrong posture is that the body could get aligned to stay in that way below my phones right so instead of being like this you will be like this because this is how you sit instead of being like this you know upright and everything being the way it's supposed to be you will be like this so who wants to be like this anyways and why do you want to be like this if you're like this like this like this whichever way you will realize that you have zero balance you are likely to get injuries from uh, falling from your muscles not getting utilized the way they are supposed to be your joints being uh, like abnormally uh, trained to stay the way they're not su supposed to be um, be um, what operating because your bones are not your spine for example is not meant to be like this or like this like a curved thing it's meant to be upright so um, every time uh, teach yourself how to sit well it will be a process and you want to look good you don't look good when you're like this or like this or like this no you look good when you're like this and could even show someone who is confident about themselves someone when you're you know so from today if you sit like this like this like this you know how you do it and you think it is not the right way of sitting because it is already causing you trouble now it is the time you teach yourself how to sit like this upright you know upright shoulders upright your neck upright you don't want to go to an extent of developing that nyama over here behind your your neck because it will if you keep on 
sitting like this all the time it will happen with time and did you know apart from looking good apart from making joints work well apart from your balance the sitting position that you sit will enhance your digestion food yes it will so if you want all those benefits what you need to do is improve your posture there are so many ways of improving your postures one is to remind yourself always not to no stop it not to you're not doing this don't do don't do this don't do this so what you're going to do every time you are seated remind yourself to do like this just sit your chest out shoulders not shrugged not like this but like just relaxed but upright okay another thing you're going to do is to stay active if you stay active your joints and your muscles are always um like being free moving how they are supposed to be moving and you're likely to remain in a good posture control your weight okay i'm not talking about being skinny i am not getting skinny anytime because it's not what i want i want a good body so what will happen is i will control my weight situation so i won't get overweight i am not getting obese and i'm not getting skinny because getting skinny too is not good for your health so you're going to maintain good health that is to mean overall weight should be in check good posture will will make it easier for digestion to happen yes you should really invest in making sure that you have good posture even your breathing most of the times we breathe and we we think we never think about breathing like it's when is the last time you took some deep breath like you breathe maybe you try it now and you will realize that maybe the first time you try it will be hard because of what you're used to is or short breathing breathe out but short deep breathing is a problem especially if you're like this trying a deep breath when you like this it's close to impossible so you need to stay like this to make sure that you breathe the way you're supposed to breathe utilize your muscles well and your joints the way they're supposed to be working by maintaining a good posture so you will be doing all that and many more not forgetting what i said you are going to look good who have issues with your shoulder your neck you are back and you can't really give an account of what happened you need maybe something that will put you in a right sitting position that means you can get a posture corrector it's something uh, you put on your back like a backpack that reminds you to sit like this instead of like this because when you tie it and you adjust it over here all you have to sit is like this but the, the worst is you can only use it for an hour or two and then remove it so the most important part is to train your body that i am seated so i need to sit upright i am seated i don't have to do my shoulders like this i am stressed i am not going to sit like this so immediately you get yourself sitting like this that is the time you sit like this and you make sure that your shoulders are aligned the right way number two you're going to learn how to stay active because it's very hard when you overweight to just control your posture it will be close to impossible because you have all that uh, extra mass that is difficult to carry so for as long as you want to sit like this the belly that my belly that is big wants to drop your chin is going like you know in a obey gravity and there's nothing you will do so if the mass is big it will tend to make your joints follow the the follow suit because if i have all this tummy and now it is coming forward i will have to that is why it is very hard to be obese and be upright so we are going to strive to maintain healthy weight i'm not saying we be skinny i don't want to be skinny no one wants to be skinny all what you want we should strive for is stay active and stay healthy so work on on your bmi your mass uh, intakes 
so know what your body can carry have a plus or minus especially for the ladies we know in a month everything could change yeah in a week or two because of their hormones and everything so try to have a well uh, healthy range of your weight so you're going to promise yourself to stay active and healthy number one ladies and gentlemen we are sitting upright so if you're sitting like this let's try and sit upright chest out shoulders relaxed okay and you can move your hands if you want but shoulders are relaxed they are not like this they are not like this but like this so let's sit down so how does it feel that at least i know and i am telling you and we are in this journey of learning how to sit down the right way okay how does that feel at first if you're used to sitting like this it might feel like a lot of work you might sit like this and feel like you're really working out because now you are trying to remind your body how it's supposed to be how it is supposed to be now they're sitting down so congratulations we did it that is exercise number one so every time you sit down remind yourself sit like this note that this could be a lot of work if you're used to being like this or like this being like this could be work so what you're going to do you're going to make sure the the bones on either side of your back they touch they touch the wall okay you should feel them touch the wall so that automatically means your chest will be out because there's no way they will touch the wall when you're like this so like this and you're going to put your hands like this so we are going to stay in that posture okay and you are going to like uh, just feel those muscles feel the way the, the shoulders are connecting to the neck and to the back please note that if you have already uh, impaired posture issues posture i mean you are going to find it very hard to stay like this so you you might uh, feel like doing this don't do that you're going to do this hold the pose for as much as you can and then now again that's the wall right for as much as you can and now you release so let's try this for 30 seconds so you lift up straight to the wall and then you stay there if you feel the temptation to do like this please don't stay like this so Let's continue staying like that make sure you are against the wall completely you are against the wall and don't let your arms come forward let's stay like that like that five seconds five four three two one then you you flex out so the, the other exercise you are going to be in the same position but this time round you are going to move so the move i just showed you is like a beginner friendly move that is the way you are supposed to correct uh, the actual standing out uh, standing up issues so if you've been sitting like this you need to train against the wall and do that so the next one we are still going to do like that against the wall completely and you're going to try to lift your arms up and back to the wall make sure they are touching the wall if you feel the urge to do like this don't so here we are doing a 10 count one two don't come all the way down three against the wall and back four five six seven eight nine ten 
and then you hold a, a chin tuck so this this is a way uh, of trying to restore your your neck and your shoulders to the right positioning so if you are always like this for whatever reason you started it out you don't know how it happened it is okay so this is what we are going to do you are going to lift your chin up so if if you're like this and you bring the, the two thumbs here and you lift up you will feel the tension here kindly try that out so you're like this bring your thumbs and you do so now assuming you're not using the thumbs of course you need the thumbs for you to get used to the positioning of the lifting of the chin so we are going to engage our shoulder muscles you should feel it so we are like this you hold like that go down hold lift your neck chin you should feel the wall uh, neck shoulder and back muscles work okay so you you do that please don't do like no or no you should as assume that posture that is why you should be against a wall and do the arms like this so that they are uh, aligned and now you do like this so before you start this if you you're not feeling the the engagement at the back or the neck then you're not doing it right so you need to come to the basics and try to lift your chin up then you can go back to that